Our Lady warns of the deceitful wonders in air, sky and atmosphere. They are from Satan himself. Amidst the mainstream controlled media's current hype regarding UFOs being shot down and the ongoing propaganda on the existence of aliens or beings from other planets, we remember the multiple warnings from Our Lady of La Salette. Our Lady of La Salette warned of wonders in the sky, air or atmosphere and that Satan will be the orchestrator of these lying signs. The message of Our Lady of La Salette has been also known as Our Lady's Apocalypse. The message was delivered by Our Lady to Melanie Calvat and Maximin Giraud, two young French shepherd children. The message was approved by the Catholic Church and was published in its entirety at Lex, France, on November 15, 1879 with the imprimatur of Bishop Zola. What is most fascinating about this message is that it reveals, what some people believe, a description of the diabolical UFO and alien deception, which the message confirms will be the lying wonders of Satan himself and will be prevalent in the times leading up to and during the Antichrist. The parts of the message that deal with these themes read as follows. Let the Pope beware of miracle workers, for the time has come for the most astonishing wonders to take place on the earth and in the air. Our Lady in another passage states how the evil spirits, in the late 19th century onwards, will rise to such great power that they will have great control over the forces of nature. This power will lead to misguided souls worshipping the devil in their own satanic churches. She says, in the year 1864 Lucifer, together with a great number of devils, will be loosed from hell, little by little they will abolish the faith, and that even in persons consecrated to God, they will so blind them, that without a special grace, these persons will take on the spirit of these evil angels, a number of religious houses will lose the faith entirely and cause many souls to be damned. Spirits of darkness will everywhere spread universal relaxation in everything concerning God's service, they will have very great power over nature, there will be churches to serve these spirits. People will be transported from one place to another by these evil spirits. Our Lady mentions how the signs and wonders caused by the evil spirits will be so great as to appear to raise the dead to life. Our Lady states, the dead and the just will be made to rise. Melani interpolated here, that is to say, these dead will assume the prospect of righteous souls who once lived on earth, in order to seduce men more easily, these so-called resurrected dead, who will be nothing other than the devil under these faces, will preach another gospel contrary to that of the true Christ Jesus, denying the existence of heaven, if these be not in fact the souls of the damned. All these souls will appear joined to their bodies. There will be extraordinary wonders every place because the true faith has been extinguished and false light illumines the world. Our Lady adds that even governments themselves will promote the doctrines of the evil spirits. She says, civil governments will all have the same objective, which will be to abolish and make every religious principle disappear to make way for materialism, atheism, spiritism and vices of all kinds. Our Lady continues, It will be at this time that the Antichrist will be born of a Hebrew nun, a false virgin who will be in communication with the ancient serpent, master of impurity, his father will be a bishop. Our Lady describes what sounds much like the unpredictable weather the world experiences today. She says, the seasons will be changed, the earth will produce only bad fruits, the heavenly bodies will lose the regularity of their movements, the moon will reflect only a feeble reddish light, water and fire will lend convulsive motions to the earth's sphere, causing mountains, cities, etc., to be swallowed up. Finally Our Lady of La Salette describes the demonic power they will have to create lying signs in the air and atmosphere. 
and how these deceptions will lead most of humanity astray. She says, the demons of the air, together with the Antichrist, will work great wonders on the earth and in the air, and men will become ever more perverted. God will take care of his faithful servants and men of goodwill, the gospel will be preached everywhere, all peoples and all nations will have knowledge of the truth. The message ends with the final victory of Saint Michael. Our Lady states, Here is the King of the Kings of Darkness. Here is the beast with its subjects, calling itself the Saviour of the world. In pride he will rise skyward to go up to heaven, he will be stifled by the breath of Saint Michael the Archangel. He will fall and the earth which for three days will be in constant change will open its fiery bosom. He will be plunged forever with all his followers into hell's eternal chasms. Then water and fire will purify the earth and consume all the works of men's pride, and everything will be renewed, God will be served and glorified. This is what we wanted to share, so as to warn the faithful of the deceptive signs in the air, sky or atmosphere and that the devil will do these amazing signs and false miracles to lead humanity astray. The UFO and alien phenomena is reaching a peak and we must not lose our faith but hold firm to the truth. Even though our eyes may see these extraordinary things, we must not be fooled. But be on guard. We have been warned. God bless you and guide you. Amen.